Let's see what happens when things go away. Let's look at these three crows. How many crows are here? One, two, three. We have three crows. Now one crow flies away. He goes away. So we are left with two crows. How many? One, two. We have two crows now. When something goes away, it is called as subtraction. First we had three crows, so we write three. Then one crow flew away, so we draw one sleeping line, which is called as minus, and then we write one, because one crow flew away. And now we have only two crows. So we draw two sleeping lines, which is called as equals, and write two. So we have written three minus one equals two. This is called as subtraction. Three crows were there, one flew away, and two are left. So three minus one equals two. This is subtraction. Let's see one more example. Now we have five cups. How many? One, two, three, four, five. We have five cups. Out of these five cups, two cups are broken. They're gone. So how many cups are left? One, two, three. Three cups are left. That means we subtract two from five and then we get three. Let's write it down. Five minus two equals three. We had five cups. We lost two cups. So now we have three cups. Five minus two equals three. On your own, you can play games of subtractions. You can take a big bin and put some leaves in it. I have put six leaves here. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six leaves in the bin. Then you take away some leaves. Here I have taken away two leaves. When I take away two leaves, how many are left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. So when you take away two leaves from six, you are left with four leaves in the bin. Let's write down this subtraction. Six minus two equals four. You can play more games like this. Make a stack of papers and count all the papers in the stack. Then push the stack so that some papers will fall down. That means some papers will be subtracted. And this is how you can play a subtraction game. You can also make your own games and see how you can play subtraction.